Hi, I'm Jules. An activity I'll use in sessions to do two things. One is for pointing and the other is to strengthen a word, whether it be for them to express it or to learn that word for themselves so they can understand that word. So the activity involves like a towel and get some core vocabulary items. So things that are common to your child. So it could be bubbles, plane, cup, and book. And what I'll do is I'll explain to the child, I'm going to hide something under here. So I'll pop something under the towel and put it here. Singing songs is excellent in children's learning repetition. We know that it helps create the neurons that are for memory and remembering what things are. So what we'll do is we'll sing a little song. I've got something under here, under here, under here. I've got something under here. Let's have a look. <gasps> a <gasps> book. Book. So I'll do that pointing, the repetition. <gasps> it's a book. I'll see if the child will point. If they need a bit of help, because these um, hand muscles can get a bit tricky, you can even help them with the pointing. Never force it, but if you see them trying, give them a hand. So we'll go, oh, book. <gasps> Let's do another one. So keep it fun, play-based. This activity can just go for five minutes, or if your child's really into it, it can go a lot longer. So you'll kind of hide the toys, sit in front of them, put something under the towel. <gasps> you can do like common items, but then you can do something really fun, like bubbles, and then play with them. So again, sing your song. I just do this one because the kids seem to like it, but you can make up your own. I've got something under here, under here, under. You can pause and see if they'll say here. I've got something under here. See if they'll point. You use both hands, point towards. Let's have a look. Go! So taking this off in a flash is really fun and exciting. Um, children love cause and effect. So things that happen, one thing happens and then you get a response. <gasps> Cup! Your turn! Oh, apple juice! So you can have a little play with the item once you find it. You can even take turns. I love seeing children hide things in plain sight. It's very cute where you give them some really fun toys and they'll pop them under. Great for following instructions. Hey, put it under. Can you put it under the towel? <gasps> oh, it's hiding. They would love ripping the towel off. Always using the song. Keep the routine up yourself and the child will um, learn to do that. You can do it each day. Again, never forcing, but always encouraging and making sure that they're having fun. You can hide new toys, existing toys. Um, as always, make pack away part of the game. So grab your toy tray. Once your child's had enough or you have you know, your next activity, like it might be snack time, always encourage so it may be snack time next. So you'll just let your child know the game's finished and make pack away part of the game because that's going to help with their instructions and their learning. And we need to encourage that to help with their language as well. And it also helps keep, you know, them a bit more independent in their learning style. So I hope you found this helpful. Take care.